Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Angelkovsky. We're here with a guest, uh, Will Burgess. How How's are you? How's it going? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. We, uh, Will, we are standing in one of Will's investment properties. And Will has just purchased this uh, triplex in East York, Toronto. It is uh, the Toronto lockdown. The world pandemic is yeah. on right now. And uh, it's there's a lot going on and a lot of uncertainty, a lot of fears, a lot of things are happening with very little uh, explanation or reason behind it that we can kind of justify. Yeah. One of those things is the real estate rental market in Toronto has taken a strong hit. And someone like Will, who's an investor who would come in and want to buy a, an income property in today's market with real estate values at all time high, and but real estate rental values at a three or four year low, yeah. you really have to come in with some courage or some bravery to kind of say, you know what, I'm gonna take the risk to do this because I believe the rental market or the real estate market in total will bounce back, will rebound. Yeah. So you did take this chance, you bought this property during the heart of the Toronto lockdown. Yeah. Okay. And that's not, not a lot of people are doing that or you know yeah. you 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 are willing to take the risk for the future reward and yes. that reward might you know be very strong yeah so i want to just give you guys an idea of how the rental market has been affected here so just as an example from year to date the end of 2020 compared to the end of 2019 well, i wanted to give you a breakdown of major cities and this is from rentals.ca and national rent rankings from december 2020 Toronto went down for one, for, this is all for one bedroom units. Toronto went down 19% year over year. Uh, Mississauga went down 4.6%. Every area has gone down with some exceptions. Oshawa went up 13.9%. London, which I know uh, you've invested in before, went yep. down 5.4%. Now, but for two bedrooms, it went up 1.3 to 1.2%. Yeah. So that's a, a bigger picture of uh, major cities. I want to talk a little bit more detail about Toronto. Toronto in the core, uh, East York went down 22%. So that's where we are right now, right yeah, in East York. Exactly. So Will, you know, knowing that it went down 22%, you know, you got to have some buffer in there. and. You know, the beaches went down 15%. Leslieville went down 10%. High Park and Roncesville went down 18%. Forest Hill went down 13%. Bedford Park went down 26%. And there's actually some areas that have actually gone up in Toronto. So like the Weston Road area went up 13%. Mount Dennis area where the LRT is gonna be ending, the Eglinton LRT, went up 10%. And the Junction area went up 14%. So it's not all doom and gloom, but there, I wanted to point out some of these just so you guys are aware of this. Year over year, it's been a really tough market. Now, some of the things that I think are very important to tell our viewers is how, it doesn't mean that this is gonna happen every year, but when this does happen, like a world pandemic, what do you do to prepare? Yeah. Well, this is where cash flow is that much more important. Yeah. If you uh, bought a condo based on speculation that, oh my gosh, you know, it's okay that I'm only negative $300 a month because, you know, but have you seen condo markets? It's, it's skyrocketed. That might be true. But what happens when there is a recession or when there is a world pandemic that we're in right now where prices have gone down by 20% in rental values? Yeah. That on a $2,000 a month condo, that's four hundred dollars. Yeah, it's quite substantial. It can be for the cash flow. Well, yeah, if you're already down by three hundred dollars, and that's an extra four hundred dollars, that's seven hundred dollars of negative cash flow. How many of those can you afford? Yeah, not well, many. Yeah, the answer is you should never be buying anything that's negative cash flow. You should have a plan right from the beginning. Yes. So, and for a lot of you out there where this is the first downturn you've experienced, well, welcome to your first rodeo. This stuff does happen. Happens in the stock market. It happens everywhere even in real estate. So it's very important that you are prepared. You have the cash reserves. More importantly, like Andre said, that you that your properties are cash flowing positive from the beginning. Because even if things do take a hit, 
you're taking much less of a hit. Yeah. So overall, my portfolio is still performing well because every property I've bought is been bought right. So yeah. well, you've been cash flowing, you've added value. So what I wanted to bring to your attention today was, you know, the rental values have taken a hit in Toronto specifically. And I wanted to point out how important cash flow is. And Toronto, even during this pandemic, which you just bought this property, yeah. will this property cash flow? Yeah, when everything's done, we're still gonna be looking to cash flow anywhere between 500 to $1,500 a month. And that's during COVID numbers. Those yeah, are the those discounted are COVID rates. Numbers. So when things turn around, we're looking at upwards of $3,500. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Right now I'm working with today's values, today's yeah. rental rates and all of that. And so long as the numbers still work, and this is not a unicorn. That's the no, thing. Like if these no. these properties are out there, so you can find them. So yeah. All right. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks. And for uh, you know, all the best with your investing. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Talk to you guys soon.